is the host of Dolly Vision on YouTube. Check it out, folks. Uh, uh, he travels around the country covering all types of cases like this. What is up, my beautiful people of YouTube? It is good to see you. It is good to see you. What is going on? You know the routine already. If you're just tuning in, of course, there's 350 of you here already. Make sure you hit that like button. Today, we are talking about the one and only. Now, I credit this little girl for getting me into true crime. And we can't forget about her. It's been a little while since we've talked about her. Little Summer Wells. And as you can see, it says, where did they hide the body? The truth behind the disappearance of Summer Wells. You know, the last official update we got on Summer Wells was over a year ago. And we had, the news interviewed Detective Pruitt. Okay, Detective Pruitt said he didn't believe that there was a kidnapping that took place. He believed that that baby was somewhere in the holler. There was no signs of a kidnapping. 
nothing of that nature. And when we go back to that day, there were some weird things going on that day that Summer Wells went missing. And, and a lot of my problem with this when I came into this on YouTube is I really, I didn't quite understand the, the people that were putting out complete misinformation on Summer Wells. Okay. Now I understand it. I know people have been paid from that side. And I will say Tim Mullins and whatever he's connected with Don Wells on have paid people to run misinformation. And some of the worst people around okay just some of the worst people around have been running misinformation for them so when i first came into the summer wells case just like you guys you know you start looking up trying to find the information on summer wells and what's going on with it and what's true and what ain't the waters were so muddy when i got into true crime that it was hard to tell what was real so my best thing was, let me go there. Let me see it. Let me go to these places. Because everything on the internet is so muddied up and you got so many people lying about things. Everybody from BK to uh, Cam and Ali. And they were spreading all kinds of tons of misinformation in the very beginning. Because, you know, they went up to the holler and they signed agreements non-disclosure agreements that they wouldn't talk about what they discussed in that holler now i've never in my life heard anything like this in a missing kid case okay i've never like why would you want you know you would want everybody to talk if my kid was missing but you can't discuss what we discuss here no i would never do nothing like that and i've been to the hill i didn't sign no agreements that i wouldn't talk i wouldn't tell what i seen none of that shit so the question is, is where is this little girl? That's always been the biggest question. If she ain't been kidnapped, there's no signs of abduction. You got to remember, guys, for you guys that haven't been to, to the hill, just, we just call it the hill today. The hills have eyes. Grandis was staying in a camper next to the house. Okay, next to the house, to the right of the house. Let's just say you're looking straight up the hill. To your right would be where the camper would be on the side of the house. To the right side of the house. The thing about this is they're saying someone came up the dog path. Snatched Summer. Went down the dog path. Jumped into something and maybe took off, right? And with their story the way it is. They were outside planting ca uh, cactuses. They say flowers or whatever. They were planting that day in pots outside the Grandis' house. In order to come up the dog path, okay, and this is where the story to me completely falls apart with the dogs in the scent. To come up the dog path, you literally have to walk right in front of Grandis's place. And the back door is right there. So if their story is correct, they would have had to watch the kidnapper go into the house, kidnap Summer, run down the dog trail with her, and not see any of that, which is humanly impossible just impossible so there's still people out here that are like don and candace don't have nothing to do with it and they have a couple of new simps now okay people that are out there spreading misinformation again like i don't know what magic trick don wells and candace have like you know how they they may how they control people's minds but but ollie don't got one okay i ain't got a brain you can't control my brain all right that's why I came back fine and other people come back lying about what went on and what you know what's happening out there on in that holler. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I, I sometimes you gotta be thankful for not having a brain. But this little girl didn't get kidnapped. And and if we're going off of the official news, right, from the police, like you know, every police agency says, get all your official news from us, everything else is bullshit. They're saying this kid hasn't been kidnapped. This kid is, somebody has either hid this kid somewhere, which I doubt that happened. I don't know what transpired at Warrior's Path that day, but there's a lot to go over in this story just itself. 
in the Don and Candace saga. I mean, it goes back, what, 11 kids, and they have none of them. They lost all their kids. They lost all their dogs. Okay? The only thing they got left is that car. Okay? They care more about that car than them, the dogs, the kids, the everything. That's all they got left in that raggedy-ass shack they live in. It's horrible. <laughs> it's absolutely horrible. This little girl didn't stand a chance. We've seen kids built, uh, born into better places that didn't stand a chance. Summer's never stood a chance. Just some of the horror stories that are out there. You know, I don't really know what to believe because so much of it, like I said, is for clicks and views. And there's so many videos on Summer Wells to get like official information of what's real. And what is this somebody made up for clicks? Okay. Like the whole shallow grave thing. Oh, look, there's some dirt. It's been three years. You know, you see a hole and people make it into a Summer Wells video and everything ain't Summer Wells. Every time you kick a rock over, Summer Wells ain't under it. Okay. It's just, it's clickbaity. So you're going through all these videos and you're trying to find real solid information that you know, really transpired or really happened, it makes it really damn hard when you got to click through a million clickbait ass titles and none of it's real. Now, what is real is these people are monsters. I hate to say it, but I will. They, they have some bad tendencies, really bad tendencies. They both seem to like younger people. It, they have some creepy predatorial behavior. Now, what we've seen Candace doing with Hunter was completely inappropriate. I still to this believe, to this day believe that the Skittles were like Delta 8 Skittles. I don't believe she bought them nicotine. I believe she bought them some Delta 8 at that smoke shop. I've always believed that. I've been in that smoke shop multiple times. I've never seen a Skittles tobacco. I have seen Delta 8 and Skittles. So, you know, she went and she was getting them twisted. Now, why would an older woman get a young man buzzed up? Okay. Now, I can tell you, I was a young man at one time, if none of you ladies were. Okay. <laughs> it's 2024. Maybe he was a man. I don't know. Okay. But look, I've had some women try to get me hammered when I was a young buck. For what reasons? They wasn't good. They wasn't good reasons. Okay. So I know when a woman starts giving you a, Hey, you want this drink? You want this? Hey, you want this? You want this? I know what she wants. Okay. But as a young man, you don't really know that. But I, I truly believe she had some relationship with Hunter and Hunter's just as big a scammer as she is. Right. We've seen that with Hunter. He scammed all kind of money from the internet off his dying mama. That is terrible. Andrew, boy, he didn't fall far from the Andrew tree, let me tell you. So we didn't see him scamming. Candace is a, a, a carny. Don Wells is, you can't even have your family pet around him, for, according to his family. I don't know. That's internet stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you're digging through all these allegedly he did this and this, but, you know, he did break in that house and steal those panties. That ain't allegedly. That's creepy. Okay. To me, that's things that serial killers are made of. And everybody always thinks Jody Sue Brown's lying. She probably is about 90% of the shit she says, okay? In my opinion. But some of the stuff I think she says is true. That there was somebody creeping around her house. 258 likes, 470. By what is 500 now in the room. You guys did me a solid. The algorithm hates my face. We're going to be here for a little bit. Hit that like on the video. Plus, I'm going to open up the phone lines in just a minute so you guys can call in. I just want to go over these topics that I have on the board. <clears throat> and you know, there's a lot to, to unwind when you're talking about Summer Wells because there's so many layers to this. This is not like any other crime story in the history of crime stories. Okay, usually you can break it down in about... 10 minutes. It didn't take you two months to break down what's going on in the Summer Wells case to people. It's just that entangled in bullshit. 
from the doctor field to behavior panels to it's crazy. This is the craziest one of them all. And I think out of all of it, summer is the one that has touched my heart the most. No lie. It, it got me into this stuff. It And it's just so sad. It's just so sad. But the circus that surrounds Summer Wells, from time to time, I have to step away from it. Right? Like, I'm like, this is insane. These people are crazy. Like, she has drawn the, the nuttiest of the nuts. And I'm talking psychics, fucking tarot card readers. Look, and I know it's a lot of women. Y'all are like, man, Dolly don't know shit on it. You know, but look, it has. It's drawn all that crazy ass stuff to it. You know, it's just so misleading. You know, if I hear Donna, Serafina, Aqua, Net. One more time, if anybody ever says Dolly, while you out searching, will you look here because Donna, Sarah, I swear I, I will beat my head on a rock. You you let her tell you where my body's at because at that point, I can't take it no more. I cannot take it no more. This lady's been wrong more times than damn. I can humanly count. She might have been. Let me take this. People are like, no, man, she was right about this. We, look, if you guess at a million fucking things, you're going to be right once, okay? I, mean, I could sit here and guess the future, and I guarantee you I, I get two or three things right. That that don't make you fucking psychic, okay? I It just it's bang your head on a brick, okay? And people believe this shit. They buy into it. You got the damn shallow grave dude listening to a damn psychic that ain't been right about anything that has to do with psychic shit, okay? If you ain't worth a $100 million and you a psychic, I ain't listening to you, okay? She is not in Tennessee. I, I, it's, look, I don't care where the lady's at. I don't, any, this ain't, I ain't got nothing against you psychics. I'm just not searching anymore, ever, for a psychic. Okay, and I, I would I would buy into it, you know. I never listen to psychics, right? I go out search, and but people would hit me up, and be like, "Yo, Donna Serafina said search here." Okay, you know how many places I look at Donna Serafina search to said search, I ain't never find shit. Okay, it'll be the one time I don't search. She's right. Okay, <laughs> that's the bad part, right? That's the bad part. Below, well, she was wrong all the other times, but she's right this time. I'm like, nah, I'm not doing it. If, if I search anywhere, it's going to be because I want to search the area. I'm not going to go just like, it's just, it's just so misleading. And if you know you ain't no psychic and you just doing this shit for clicks and views, that's just the most horrible ground. You might as well be one of those televangelist preachers. You know, it's just like you're pulling at people's heartstrings, acting like you know some shit you don't. Nobody knows where that little girl is at. If they did, she would be recovered. That's the facts. That's what I mean about misinformation and you can't find nothing real that's on the internet. And when you go to look for something real, it's always some psychic or it's always somebody finding a fucking brick that looks, you know, a chicken bone. How many times have we seen chicken bones found up here on Summer Wells? Okay. I didn't see more people kick over a deer bone and talk about Summer Wells than I can count. I didn't see more people find shallow graves than I can count. It, like, like it's like, Oh, what are we going to make a video about? Well, damn, there's some dirt. Yeah, I wonder if Summer Wells is under that dirt. It's It's gotten to that point. So there's nothing, there's no real legitimate information. I think it's time that there's some pressure put on the police to get us a press conference or something or at least an update. Please come out and be like, yo, we don't know nothing, okay? I would feel better with that. And pretty much the last press conference we got, was that that they don't have anything they're continuing their search efforts Pruitt said he was following up every tip every lead that was called in he checks it every morning when he gets to the office I, I I feel confident in that that he is looking into it you know he seems like a legit dude but the thing is this there ain't no leads there ain't no tips 
You got this dude that finds a hole every day calling TBI. Okay. Nothing against the dude. I'm glad he's out searching. I, I swear to God, I don't care. I'm picking a little bit. I'm picking a little bit, but the dude that goes out searching, I'm glad you're doing it. I don't care what reason you do it for. If a psychic told you to do it, but the, every time you find a damn hole in the ground, don't be calling TBI. Okay. Don't be calling the tip lines because that, Unless you find something in the damn hole, okay? If you find something in the hole, call TBI, okay? If you find some little kid, and we don't even really know what she's wearing because they kept lying. There's so many lies. That's why the, the title says all lies. Everything we know is a lie, okay? Because you know why? Because it all comes from Don and Candace. That's the story. Comes from Don and Candace that everybody runs with. It's all lies. Every bit of it is a lie. The story they made up is is never happened. It never happened. Some of the things happened. Yeah, they went to the lake. They went to get some things. But from that point that it hits Ben Hill, everything there turns into a lie. Everything. They knew they couldn't lie about where they went and who's seen them and the cameras and things of that nature. They knew they couldn't lie. But the lie starts... When they get back to that hill, and from the point he drops off Hunter, Hunter knows. Hunter's just as grimy as Candace. I had trust in that young man. I was thinking, okay, young man, girlfriend, pregnant. Guys, can you hear me? Okay, can you guys hear me? We got a little bit of internet issues going on. But look, guys, if anything goes down, just stay tuned. I might have to reload some things and get it back up. It's just probably my internet buffering a little bit right now. So, yep, frozen. Okay, so where I was at was, you know, that I think this relationship between Hunter and Candace is legit. Not only that, I know some of Candace's friends. I got some inside information. You know, Dolly knows a little bit of everybody. I spent a lot of time down in Tennessee looking for this little girl. That Candace, you know, likes these young guys. And when I mean young, I'm talking teenage young. And I ain't talking 18, 19 teenage young. I'm talking 14, 15 years old teenage young. Listen. It's no more acceptable for a woman to mess with a 14, 15 year old boy as it is a man to mess with a 14, 15 year old girl. That's the big P word, okay? You should be messing with adults. Adults should be messing with adults. Kids can hang out with kids. But there shouldn't be no adults hanging out with... I don't care what your fucking sex is. I don't care if you... You don't even have a sex. You still shouldn't be hanging out with kids like that. It's, it's, it's grooming. It's absolutely grooming. Listen, look at Stephen McDougal. He was, he was grooming... Audrey Cunningham and that family was allowing it. Okay. Candace was grooming Hunter and Allie was allowing it. It's the same sick shit. Okay. It is the exact same thing. People look at it different, but it's not. The lady. She would take the plane ride with Jeffrey. That's all I'm saying. And you know Don. His name ain't McDougal. But it's Wells. He'd be on the plane right beside her. They're monsters together. They get tore up from the floor up together. They're definitely ride or die. You know. They're dysfunctional. But where is that child? They know. And when I see these people out here simping. And lying and making up shit. Like, look at, look at Cam. All right, I hate to talk bad about Cam. He's always been nice to me, right? But what he was doing was effed up. Okay, what he was doing was that, and this is just the truth. This is truth. Okay, I want people to understand that when you digging around for fucking some truth, 
these people went up to the hill. They done took some money from Tim. They started spreading this, all this information to make it look like the Wells didn't have anything to do with this. That is horrible. That's blood money. Benny Keys, at least Benny Keys, he done switched. He took the blood money, changed his name to blood money Benny Keys. He's like, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to take the blood money. He openly came out in the stream one day and said how much uh, Tim paid him. Now, Benny's a lying ass dude, too. But there's some things. Some liars tell little pieces of truth. You just got to know when they're telling the truth. Because as soon as he got mad at Tim and they had a, a little beef, he started to tell it. And now we know Benny's a snitch. Okay? We know he's a snitch. <laughs> He'll tell on you quick as shit. Right? Hey, Benny, if you're watching, don't start posting shit about me. This ain't about that. All right? This is just, I'm trying to prove a point. And you know, and he knows that I know. You see what I'm saying? They were taking money. They were spreading misinformation. Facts. It's just facts. It is what it is. There's other people out here now spreading misinformation on the same thing. A lot of people think that that baby is on the Ben Hill. Is the body on Ben Hill. Now, I discussed this a little bit last night with somebody, and I was like, look, I never planned on going to the Hill. Me and PJ, we were in Tennessee. We did some searching for summer wells. Uh, we went to, to locations where she was, you know, last seen, every location, by hunters, just everything, just re retracing the steps, seeing if there was something. I stopped looking for cameras. And there, there was two sets of cameras that they were picked up on. And we know that from TBI. This is facts. Because this is where the proof of life comes in that Summer was alive that day. She was in the vehicle that day. Okay? TBI does know that. So it ain't like she died sometime before. She, she was definitely there the day they went to the lake. So that dreadful day is the, the day. But, you know, Candace was left that hill a couple times that day. Everything from the 911 call was strange. Okay. So I've never really believed that that body was on the hill. I believed it was somewhere close by in the holler. That's why every time I went to the holler, I wasn't so much worried about the house as I was the surrounding area of the house because I was thinking, well, how long would she have to take off and come back? And <clears throat> here's the thing. She only had to get to a certain perimeter where the searchers wouldn't find it. So I'm thinking she's took this baby at least five miles from the hill. This is just my thought on it. My When I go out searching, I'm thinking, okay, if the perimeter was five miles, let's go six miles. Let's go seven miles. Let's go eight miles. My thing was this. When I was searching at the point, I didn't have a drone. Okay, and a lot of these things were like little pull-offs and you had to go down paths and things like that. And I couldn't really search them the way I wanted to search them. Now I got a drone. I'll be able to search them a little bit better than I could search at that point. I ain't got the best drone in the world, but I'm going to work on getting me a better drone. Okay, but the, the first drone I got was great because I've learned how to fly it. I've learned how to operate it. I'm pretty decent with it. I've only crashed it once, you know, because them drones are expensive shit. You crash it, they're, they're once your money. So at least I started with the starter drone and I'm pretty good with it now. I feel confident that if I had a good drone, I wouldn't crash it into a tree or drop, you know, put it in a lake or something. I then flew mine out over the ocean, on the pier and different places. So I feel pretty confident in flying them now. Um, and there was a lot of those places like that I thought needed to be searched. And like I was picking on the dude that finds a shallow grave or every time he finds an overturned thing of dirt. He makes a video. It's just me picking, man. If you watch this video, don't get upset. Continue your searching, please. Thank you, God, that you're out there doing it. I don't care what reason it is. I don't care really if you make a million videos. I'm just saying that I'm just trying to make the point, the, the point of it, you know. Um, I don't. I would never disencourage anybody not to be out there searching. I think the more people out there searching, the better because that place is so huge. It's so huge. And... 
searching outside the perimeter though, like that baby's not far from that hill. That's where I believe that Pruitt is right. She only had a limited amount of time. She didn't drive the baby across the state. Now, some people have said this, that the baby's been moved. But I, I don't think the baby's on the hill, right? Because like I said, I never planned on meeting Don and Candace. When we were sitting there talking, when we we're eating, talking with them, apparently they like some chili. Uh, they were like, they invited us. They said, hey, you want to come up to the hill so we can do some MK Ultra mind control on you, all right? And you know what Dolly said. Yeah, let's do it. I like MK Ultra mind control. Little did they know I ain't got a mind, okay? They thought they were going to brainwash Dolly and wasn't no brain to wash, okay? You can't wash a brain that ain't there, all right? So there wasn't no coming back with no, you didn't do it shit. Like everybody else came back. Once you go to that, once that portal gets you, usually like, Don and Candace are the greatest. Like you, they done gave you some Kool Aid and patted you on the ass or something. I don't get it. Like people change up. They're like, "Oh, Don and Candace, the best." Everybody thinks they're gonna confess, and that if I bring them on my channel, that you know it's gonna be all this and that. No, all they're gonna do is piss, be rude and nasty and horrible people. I gave up on that. I was like, I just f that shit. Like it's it's cringe. It makes me cringe. It it makes me cringe, right? The crazy thing is, is if you meet Don and Candace, they put on a really good show. They put on a really good show. I mean, give these bitches a Grammy, okay? Give them. A, I mean, I've been face to face with them, talk with them, been in their house. Give these people a Grammy. Sober. They are totally different people. I think that's when they the the carny comes out in them. Don don't seem like a bad guy in person. You wouldn't know that he's a fucking creepo. Not like right off the rip. Like you like I didn't know Don was a panty snatcher when I was standing there talking to him. I had no clue. It didn't even cross my mind. You know, I knew about the alleged stuff with his sisters and the, the family pet and things that I mean I knew that when I started talking to him but now one time that I think he was like would break in your house and steal your panties I did just I didn't think I didn't I just, I just didn't think that and and this is the honest truth when I went there the garages and the sheds they were open Don Wells didn't really have a problem where I walked. We just kind of walked around. I mean, he didn't say, you can't go over here. You, you know what I mean? He kind of walked me around the whole property, talked. I sat around, shot BB guns with him and all kinds of stuff. He's still a monster. You know what I'm saying? You're a monster that can put on a good show. Now, if Don didn't do this, and Candace has done something horrible, and you know Don is just taking up for Candace's. I got seven alibis. You ain't got none. I don't think he has selling. What is his seven alibis? Can somebody tell me his seven alibis? In one, he was at work. Okay, and he wasn't. There's multiple people that says he wasn't at work. He even said it in a phone call that he wasn't at work. He wasn't there, but he was. What the hell? What? So you got one alibi that don't even hold up, okay? The one you said you got seven alibi. What's the other fucking six alibi? What's the other six? I can't think of one. The one alibi you got that I was at work don't even hold up because Hunter said you called and you was at the hill with the boys and there was some dude creeping. The one alibi don't hold up. Not at all. So what? Where's the other six? Can somebody? Can anybody know the other six? Why seven? You only need one. He don't even. He has a half of one. He has a half a ass alibi. A half a half. He don't even have a whole one. It's a half ass one. I was at work, but people saying you won't. Did they? You know, here's the thing, guys. Did they go hide the body then later move it? Because we hear Don and Candace say, "Just Don, especially." You will never find this kid. Who the hell says that? Okay. So I'm trying to tell y'all, I don't think the baby is on Ben Hill Road. Okay. I think that baby's in that holler somewhere on Beach Creek. 
That baby's on Beach Creek. Somewhere off that Beach Creek Road is Little Summer Wells. I know that hurts some people's souls. Like, every time I go out there searching, I'm not searching for a baby that's alive. No. I'm searching for something small on the ground and things like that. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking, but that's just the truth. Um, Were you there? Was I there when she went missing? No. But I was there since she went missing. Okay. Remember the, the story was when they called in, the, the mom went out for a run. What was the scream? Okay. Everybody's just like, oh, Jody Sue Brown's a liar. No, I believe she truly heard a scream that day. I believe that Don was creeping around her house. Right? When she, remember, Jody Sue was like, yeah, there's somebody creeping around my house. And everybody keeps saying Jody Sue Brown's son was creeping around there. But Don is the one that has a history of being a panty snatcher. So I believe some of that stuff that Jody, I don't believe everything Jody Sue Brown says now, okay? Because she's a YouTuber. You can't believe damn YouTubers. But when she was just a witness, you could, you know, halfway go, okay, why would this lady lie? So I really do believe truly that day she heard something. I've always thought that Don and Candace didn't kill Summer Wells. I always thought they just covered it up. That she accidentally died and they made the wrong decision and they covered it up and they went and hid this little girl. When I got to the hill, I told Don exactly that. You know, man, I just think y'all made this bad decision and y'all have covered this stuff up. I never changed my story to let think he didn't do it because my story's always been the same. And he tried to ensure me that he didn't, that he, you know, he wanted to prove me wrong that he didn't do any searching. So he had a little video of him searching for summer. Okay. I mean, it wasn't long. It wasn't like, it wasn't four hours, five hour long video. It was just a couple minute video of him out riding around looking for summer. So he just wanted to prove to me, well, what you're saying is not true. Kind of, well, look, here's a video of me searching. But searching is more than that. You know, searching is more than that. It's more than that little clip of a video. Like you could be out searching every weekend for your daughter. If my daughter was missing, I would search every free moment I had. Like, why are you talking to me and not searching? That's that's my mentality. Like, we're doing all this talking. You could be searching. He's giving up, right? Why would he give up? Why would any parent give up? Because he knows. That's why he talks about his daughter in past tense, right? Look, I sat with Brandy. She didn't talk about monkey in past tense because at the time that I sat with Brandy, they didn't know about the wanderers yet, okay? She never was like, I'll see my son in the resurrection, okay? Could you imagine that coming out of Brandy's mouth? You know, one thing in this thing is, you know, I use Brandy a lot because she is exactly how I would act. Exactly. To a T. That is how I would act. She even tried to help the Wells. And I had to tell Brandy, I was like, look, you know, you have something in common with them. You both got missing kids, but it ain't the same. You know, like, look, there's some people in this world you can't help. I know you know, good people want to help people. I love helping people. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel warm inside. But there's people on this planet that you cannot help. You know, it's good people doing the wrong thing. I say it all the time. Good people do the wrong thing all the time. Not knowing. Not knowing. Some people could say, well, the Christian people with McDougal, they, they let this man stay. They did the wrong thing. They may be good people, but they did the wrong damn. They, 
to me, they did a lot. They allowed their child to be groomed. Okay. Same thing Allie did with Hunter. He was allowing this, this haggard ass woman to groom their son, her son with tobacco. Well, let's just say tobacco. I think it was Delta eight because you know, uh, weed is illegal in Tennessee. So everybody smokes them vape pens that are like, it's the, it's like a weak version of THC. So them people would be smoking them pens and like, that's truly what I believe. She got them some smoke a little. It's really what it is. It's TAC and some twisted tea. Now the malt le uh, liquor beverages, they will tear you up. Okay. I ain't no that, That's some ghetto wine shit. It ain't like drinking a Bud Light. Okay. Go drink one of them twisted teas or one of them damn strong ass eight point percent white claws that these old women be drinking on YouTube. Thinking they cool. Oh my god, them damn things will tear you up. You'll be them. You might as well be drinking liquor shots. So Candace had a plan, you know. A lot of people believe that Summer may have seen something. So when I was in Tennessee, you know, here's some fact. I went into the water. You to see, you know, how deep is the water? One, there were some rumors. A lot of people believe I was searching for summer wells in the water that day. I wasn't searching for summer wells in the water. There were some rumors of a cell phone that got thrown into the water. Okay, so I was trying to fill around for a cell phone. It wasn't up but big ass rocks. But here's the thing about that water, and a lot of people don't know this. Everybody's like, oh, look, it ain't even that deep. It ain't that deep. It ain't even over your head. I've seen these people go down there and say that, spreading misinformation. That's totally fucking misinformation. You can take one step back. It's over my head. I'm five foot seven. Okay. Not the tallest dude in the world, but I ain't the shortest person. He ain't no damn midget. I'm five foot seven. Don't let the chair fool you because I sit low. That's what a lot of people say when they meet me. They'll be like, man, you know, you're actually taller than I thought you'd be. I sit in a little low ass gaming chair. You only see the top of my head. I'm a little bit taller than you think, people. Okay. I ain't. I'm five foot fucking seven. That's the first thing people say. Oh, I thought you were shorter. No, nah, nah, this is me. This is me right here. So, um, where was I going? I didn't forget what I was talking about. Anyway, the hill. I, I, don't, I truly believe the baby's not on the hill. That they took this baby off the hill, but he's somewhere in that holler on, in Beach Creek. Um. So I was searching that lake for that cell phone. And like I said, you could step out and you can walk out to it to about your knees, right? A little, maybe to your waist, to about your waist. And that's not very far. It don't take very far. Now at low tide, it looks like the water's not deep because you can see the trees sticking out of it. Okay. It depends what tide is in when you go there, because I've seen different YouTubers go to Warriors Path. And they'd be like, look, the water ain't even deep enough, but blah, blah, blah. Yes, it is. It is definitely deep enough to drown in. And not only that, but there's fishing hooks. There's shit to get hung up on. There's all kinds of stuff. When I was coming out of that water, I was cutting stuff off of me with a machete. Okay? I had a damn Jason Voorhees knife stuffed, stuffed in my swimming trunks. Just in case I got caught in anything, I could cut myself loose. I was hung up on fishing line. I was pulling this. But when you get... Like I said, to about your waist, which ain't very far out. When you see those trees, you can take one step back. It's over your head like that. Instantly, boop, you down. Could she drown in that water? Absolutely, she could drown in that water. If Summer couldn't swim, yeah, that water would be treacherous for a small kid because you're walking. It's normal. It's normal. Everything. It's normal. Boop. It's just like a walking for people that live in the ocean, like a sandbar. Okay, for people that beach people, we know about the sandbar, right? You could walk the fucking sandbar a mile out into the ocean. As soon as you step off that bench, it's going to be a hundred foot water and a shark's going to bite your ass. Okay, because that's where they hang out, right at the edge of the sandbar. Kind of same thing in the lake, but not as far out. It's it's what you're walking, walking, boom, you know, because boats pull up into that cove. So it gets deep right there. So people are like, they're showing it at low tide and 
they're not, you know, the water appears shallow, but it's not. So when you're out there like, oh, she couldn't drown in this, you're, you're, you're spreading misinformation. I went out of there. It's over my head. I was swimming around in it. There's videos of it on YouTube of it. Does that look like it's two foot deep that I'm swimming around in? Hell no. You can see me go underwater. I literally have to dive under to touch the bottom. So, and I'm feeling rocks and bricks and things of that nature. This is even say she fell and hit her head on a rock in the shallows. Nobody's even said that. Nobody's even said it. What if she hit her head? She banged her head on a rock. What if she had a head injury? That's why she's asleep in the milk. Okay. And let me tell you this. You don't have to be bleeding to have internal bleeding or, or mess your brain up. You can hit your head on something and it kill you. Look, there's rocks, big rocks in them shallows there too. So it ain't like they took them to her to a clear opening where it's night. Nice. Look, you go down to the point of that, jump off the water's clean, everything's nice. Why they chose to swim in that nasty part of the, the lake where everybody fishes, I have no clue. I mean, I chose to do it looking for stuff and trying to figure out how deep the water was, things that like that. Because I know I don't have to spread misinformation because I went in the water, walked out there. I know how deep it is. I know how dangerous it is. I know there's a ton of damn big ass rocks in that water, too. Not just them tree branches you hanging out. That's what I'm saying. They could have walked down to the other area and there's big rocks out there. Okay, I want to get up and almost twist it, roll, almost roll my ankle on a huge ass rock that's in the water you can't even see. So I wouldn't go out there trying to jump off nothing because you jump on a big ass rock. You be, you got to maneuver around that water. Like, I'm sure the locals down there that swim in it, they know. Okay, they know about them rocks and things like that. But you ain't never been in the water. There's one part I'm out in the middle of the river. And jump up out of it like damn Jason Voorhees. You know, it's just my Jason Voorhees reenactment. But yeah, that water's deep as shit. But not right there where she drowned. Where she, where she drowned, I'd say the water gets about eight feet. I would say eight feet. At a decent tide, the water's eight feet right there. You tell me that little girl can't dr drown in eight feet of water? She could. I don't think she drowned. I mean, I don't know. Or she could have hit her head. Fell on something. I don't. I just know they wasn't out there paying attention to the, to Summer Wells. We know that according to Hunter. They were out there watching damn videos. And he noticed that Summer went under the water. Now, his story's changed a little bit. Okay. His story has changed a little bit. He said she was okay, but she was under the water for a couple seconds. And then, you know, recently when he was out here on the internet conning money on the back of his mama, he kind of said, you know, that, oh, no, it was nothing. She was just under the water, came right back up. Everything was good, blah, 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 right? Just completely changed what he said a while before. So I don't really believe either one of them. I know this. Candace is a liar. Hunter is a liar. Don Wells is a liar. And I believe everything is a lie. And I can't believe, you know, the one thing I thought is Hunter would be the first to tell it because he's young. But he, you see how Hunter carries himself and you see the, the lies he's capable of doing. The whole my girlfriend's pregnant with twin things. We're losing it. It was just a big scam. To get money. He was even when he gave him money, he wasn't thankful for it. He wasn't a pre you know, he was like, yeah, yeah, I got some money. You know, that money probably went to him to go buy him a new gun or something crazy. Like, I really gotta watch who I help. I gotta, you know, it's usually very rare that I get hustled. I just, you know, I would I usually people don't hustle off the death. Of their mom. You know, they usually don't do that. That is insane to me. So, that answer to me, 
the baby's not there, like I said, because they had everything open. I was able to walk around the property anywhere I wanted to go. And this is after they were saying YouTubers couldn't come to the property. And they were like, oh, nobody can come to the property. We don't know nobody on the property. So, you know, there's people instantly when they were saying we don't want people on the property that were like, oh, that baby must be on the property. That's why they don't want nobody there. That's why they don't want nobody there because the baby's there. Like I said, they invited me. They didn't have a problem with where I went to the dog path, to the to the ledge, to the to the barn. Um, and of course, Don Wells helped me move the sign from the tree to the side of the shed. I, you know that sign is still there. I cannot believe it. It's it's just as colorful the day I bought it. Anytime I buy signs, I'm buying it from that same company. That sign has held up for years. <laughs> I, just, I thought it would last like two weeks. I was like, this shit will be here two weeks and somebody will tear it down. One of my haters will, will mess it up. No, that sign stayed. Um, all So did the Michael Vaughn sign. The Michael Vaughn sign still there in Fruitland. So that sign company that made me those signs, good job, man. You know, they told me they were exterior ones, that they were just, they're screens is what they are. They're big screens. So the wind don't rip it. The wind just blows through it. So it's actually, it's not a solid banner. It looks solid, don't it? When you look at it on the barn, it looks like a big solid banner, but it's not. It's like a big screen door. And they print it on these screens and then when it's outside, the wind don't rip it apart. So that's the, and then I guess whatever paint they use on it, that shit is like bright as the day I got it. Okay. So that purple and yellow pops. So I'm like, I was looking at the pictures of people, you know, driving by and posting pictures of it. I was like, damn, that banner still looks good. <laughs> good job to that company. Right. They're the same people that made my monkey bomb ones. They're going to be the same people that I use for my crime con banners because a lot of these kids that we cover we're going to be showcasing them at crime con um that's my plan on for the backdrop area you know of course it'll have my dolly vision logos because we, we want to promote the channel there that's one of the reasons we're going and uh, we're going to give away a bunch of stuff samples little goodie bags t-shirts a, a few things there it, you know it's just more of a meet people in the true crime community thing for us but we're going to have big banners of the, the kids that we cover like summer wells and things that like that on display. And we want to bring awareness to, to any missing kids. So we're going to have a bunch of stuff that you can pick up that we're going to put in some goodie bags. Cause look, when your kid goes missing it, he may not be in that state or she may not be in that state you live in this whole trafficking thing, you know, sounds of freedom. This is a global problem. And it, and it's crazy that like, kids are being snatched from our countries and they're being sold in third world countries. Like it's hard to believe that this is going on that so many people have been sold in 2024 into slavery. Like slavery still exists to this day. It's, it's in a modern world, you would think, where everybody's connected. There's still slavery. There's still people being sold. And, and, and it's a billion dollar industry. Like It'll make you not want to go outside. Keep your kids close because if you haven't watched that movie, I encourage you to watch it. It's a good movie based on uh, true events, okay? And it really dives deep into the, the global human trafficking that goes on and how they kidnap kids and sell kids and pimp out kids. And then... Them kids just, when they use them up, they just get rid of them. It's in like, it's it's a crazy movie. So check it out if you get a chance. Um, So I don't think the little baby's on the hill. But I do think the people that know where this child is, is the mom and dad. I don't like to blame moms and dads of things, you know, but it is what it is. There's no evidence that a kidnapping ever took place. Okay. Why? 
why lie about anything in the disappearance of a kid? If you're lying, there's a reason you lied. That's what I believe. Another thing that stood out to me was this. When Jose was talking, y'all remember Jose? You know, they started talking about, you know, the door, the back door. If anybody could get in the back door, they had a couch that they would push up against that door that usually blocked that door. So when I was walking around with Don Wells, and I really didn't even think about nothing about it. I was just, you know, just talking in general, talking to him. And he was, you know, talking about his staircase, okay? Because, you know, the dungeon, a lot of people call it the dungeon, the basement area where Summer's room was. I went in there. <clears throat> and in the Chris McDonough video, you can see, oh, my side, I can, oh, my leg. You can see that uh, they had some type of staircase that you had to duck down under the counter and go down into the, the dungeon, right? Y'all seen that on the Chris McDonough and walk through the house. Well, when I got there recently, they had ripped that out. That wasn't even there. It was just a hole in the kitchen floor. Like if you walked into the kitchen and wasn't looking, you'd fall into the basement. No lie. Okay. There was nothing really covering it. Just a hole in the kitchen floor, like a hatch with no door. You ain't looking, you walking in. Hey, let's go. You be in the damn basement. So he had ripped the stairs out and, you know, I'm like, damn, Don, you going to put some stairs up in here. Okay. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to get me some oak, some cherry wood. He, he's like a broke dude with million dollar dreams. Like, dude, you, you got broke windows. You, you talking about putting some oak and cherry wood and you ain't even fixed the fucking broke window. Like he's in a, in this, you know, like, look, like the parts of the house they repaired on the exterior is rotten because he didn't tie back it. He never finished the job, right? So he just put up wood and put some tie back on it. And then the tie back ripped off. Now the wood's all rotten. So the stuff they did repair on the house is already jacked up. And this is the bad thing. Don Wells works in construction. He should know how to fix some stuff. He should be able to fix that house on his own. He's definitely not a plumber. Okay. He's one hundred. I had to do some plumbing the other night. My shit works. He he is definitely not a plumber. I think that was one of the worst things in the house I've seen. I'm going to share this shit with you guys. Because I, I had never seen nothing like this. He literally, his hot water heater sits in the kitchen. Okay. I guess the, the pipes and the walls froze. So he ran pipes outside the walls. So you go into the kitchen and there's these plastic pipes that are running just barely over your head. Some of them are hanging all loopy and shit like this. And they're running across the room, right? And they're running through a hole they cut in the cabinet into the sink. And I'm like, this is the most ghetto rig shit I've ever seen in my whole entire life. There ain't no way in the world so service is going to let anybody stay, no kids stay in that house like that, right? I asked him, I said, nah, man. Well, why, why the hell are your pipes running like, you know, they're all running down, the, just in the middle of it, just in the open. Like, there ain't a pipe in the wall, okay? There ain't a pipe in the wall. I'm like, why didn't you, like, he didn't even run them all the way to the ceiling and try to make it look neat or or nothing. He just, just like some fucking plastic pipe. From, you can literally hang your clothes off of it, like, through the kitchen, you know, like a clothesline almost, like multiple ones running all through the bathroom the same way, right? And and you didn't want to hear something that's disgusting. So the shower that we hear about them taking showers in is tiny. Is tiny. And when I mean tiny, I mean it's a one person shower. This ain't like one of Ain't like getting my big ass deep tub, right? I said that that bitch is nice, right? Nah, it's like getting in like a little tiny ass coffin. How look, that makes it even more disgusting. Okay, because we know he was taking showers, who he was taking showers with, and that shit is fucking tiny. So, you know, I asked Don, I was like, hey man, why didn't you just like 
run it up to the ceiling and build like a box and put it in a chase and run it, you know. So when you look up, you just see a little raft rafter and everything runs through that rafter. So it's not hanging it down in your face. You literally got duck pipes when you go in the kitchen. Like, uh, I, mean, I don't want to take out your water system. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, you know, Don, this is an easy fix, man. All you got to do is frame up a little box that runs across your ceiling, put the pipes in it, nail it to the ceiling, and when you look up, you won't have no pipes running through your house. He was like, yeah, I could have did that. Yeah, But now this is like, you can tell it's been like this for a fucking good minute, you know? The thing is this, is like, you've worked in construction and drywall. That means you've been around framers. That means you've been around electricians. You've been around plumbers. So you should know a little bit of all of it, okay? That's like me. I worked as an electrician, but I've been around enough framers. I've been around enough roofers. Enough. I'm kind of a, a jack-of-all-trades, master of none. I can fix the shit. It might not be the best, but it'll be fixed, you know? I ain't your framer. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a plumber. I am an electrician. I can't wire your house, your panel, your bunk, every fucking thing on it. Um, but for most, the rest of construction, you know, I'm pretty good at drywall. I do damn finishing, plastering. You, you name, I build your fucking house, really, if I wanted to, you know. Um, it wouldn't be great. I wouldn't want to live in it if I build it. It'd be wired nice, but the rest of it would be kind of off a little bit. Just a tad bit, okay. Mab says, just like me, Dolly, I fix everything. I don't want to pay anybody, okay? I'm one of those people, PJ, I tell you, if I think I can do it, I'm doing it. I ain't, I ain't paying you to do it. I'm going to do it. So if it's definitely something around the house I try to do. Now, there's some things I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going to do. I'm going to, I got a couple windows I want to replace on my house. I'm going to put the front of my house needs, I'm going to put three new windows in the front. I ain't doing that. I'm paying somebody to do that. It's just not my thing to take out windows and put windows back in. That's a little bit out of my range, okay, of carpentry. So I'm going to actually pay somebody to do that. But like fixing things around my house, like drywall holes, or I, I put in new wood uh, floors. Uh, let's see, new. I redid my whole bathroom, my kitchen. And I've been doing everything myself. I haven't paid anybody outside person. No, I did pay a dude, my homeboy. He was broke and he painted my deck. Okay. I let him sand and paint my deck. You know, I was going to do it myself, but he needed a few bucks. And he was like, yo, I'll paint this deck for you. So I was like, all right. So I let him paint the deck. But everything else I've been kind of fixing, you know. I've been like Bob, the handyman lately, you know. So the moral of the story is, is all this time that has went by, okay? And if, you know, we hear Don and Candace say they want their boys. We want our boys. We want our boys. We want our boys. But y'all haven't done anything. I, would, I do have to say, though, you know, honestly, the house is in better condition inside, cleaner. It wasn't dirty. The house wasn't dirty at all, right? Just weird place pipes. But their house wasn't dirty. It, the house was fairly clean. You can see that the, the dungeon was freshly painted. The kitchen had been painted. There was a hole in the floor where you could fall into the dungeon. Um, but it wasn't dirty. Like, oh, my God. Like, this is the filthiest shit ever. Like, sometimes my kitchen's more messy, you know? It wasn't like that. It's just like the construction of it was, sh like I said, he did a, just a shitty job. Right, like instead of calling a plumber, he was like, "Yeah, I can do this," and it just looked horrible. Um, they just want the boys back so they won't snitch on them. In my opinion, now listen, I don't think the boys know anything, and I know a lot of you guys are going to disagree with me on this, but I don't think the boys know anything. Them, them boys have been taken by social services now for, what, two, two and a half years? 
they have psychiatrists, they have counselors that meet with those boys. It's, it's part of the requirements when, you know, the system takes you like that. You know what I'm saying? The counseling and things like that. These boys would have done told, I don't think these boys know anything. I truly don't. When you see in the very beginning when Don Wells is on the media and he has, what boy is that? What son is it? I think that's his oldest son. You see when he says they were supposed to be watching her sister and he ducks his head down like, you know, like he let his sister down. That is so horrible, Don Wells. When he said that shit, like, it's almost like they put the blame on the kids and they know they've done something with her. So only $594 left to our goal for Chromacon. Damn, we're getting close. Okay. And I think we got about a few days left to get our, our order in for our booth and things. So I can't wait for Chromacon. That's going to be awesome. Last year, they had the who's who of like true crimers. So I would have, I didn't get to go. I didn't even know about it last year until it popped up on my feed and everybody was already there. I was like, damn, I would like to went to that. But we didn't get to go last year. But it looks like, thanks to you guys, we will, me and PJ, will be at CrimeCon uh, 2024 in Nashville. Not only be there, but we'll have a booth set up, right? So you'll be able to come out, hang out with us. Um, and like I said, we're going to have a bunch of stuff that we're giving away. We ain't going to be selling nothing at CrimeCon. Okay, we're not going to CrimeCon to share, to sell shit. We're going to be going there to give out samples of stuff, to uh, bring awareness to the, the missing people that we cover, and to promote our YouTube channel, okay? And to meet other people that are into the same things as me. Murder, mystery, mayhem, okay? That's just what interests me. And, of course, we're going to be doing a meet and greet if you want to come out and hang out with us outside of Chromacon, too, because Chromacon tickets, even for a standard one, like standard ticket, is 400 bucks. Okay, you would think that the damn, name some big ass, you would think Jay-Z was performing at Chromacon, okay, at the prices of tickets. And, look, without you guys, we couldn't be there. We just wouldn't have been able to afford it. We would just had to skip it. So we know that everybody can't afford it because we couldn't. So that's why we want to do something outside of that there in Nashville. So you can come out and hang out with us, you know, and be broke with us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, I just want to be able to meet you under whatever circumstances it is. You know, if you can't get in the crime con shit, I'll come outside and meet you. If that's the only opportunity I got to meet some of you guys. So, I'm just looking forward to the speakers and the people and meeting you guys, being able to promote the channel. It's going to be awesome. And, of course, I'm going to bring you all some crazy videos. From I think they need some Dolly, you know. They seem a little, they seem a little boring. They seem a little boring. I think adding a little entertainment to Crime Con, you know, Dolly is the thing to do, okay. I can tell you now, Crime Con is going to be a lot better this year than it was last year. Because they got the living legend, the one and only. Well, there's two of us, so I can't say I'm the one and only. There's Dolly with the big titties, and there's Dolly the idiot. But they got the idiot coming. Okay. That sounds like good times. The party just turned up a notch. The party just turned up. We five hundred dollars from turning y'all's party up. Okay, Crime Con gonna be off the hook, and if it ain't, we are gonna make it. All right, so like I said, ton of misinformation on the Summer Wells case. You really can't tell what's real and what ain't real on the damn internet because so many people be lying and clickbaiting and things of that nature. They haven't found this baby. Don Wells says we'll never find the baby. Never. You'll never find her. I've never seen a parent in the world say that about a missing child. I truly believe that Don and Candace know where the baby's at. There's no, really no doubt in my mind. Nobody snatched that baby off that hill. When I share this with you guys, I've been there a bunch of times. The first few times I went, I only went on the Ben Hill Road. I never went up to their house. 
So when you get to the mailbox, the 110 mailbox, of course, you see them big containers out there. That's where Amazon drops their packages. It's like, put your mail here or whatever. So I guess they order a lot of shit on Amazon to need those big barrels. I, I need one of them for me, okay? Um, in the summertime, when summer went missing, the foliage is really thick. When you at the driveway and you're looking, you can't see the house. I always thought the house was like when you're looking at the driveway, I always thought the house was over here. I swear. When I went up to the house, the house is on the, this side. And I, I was like, this whole damn time, I've been looking over here for the house. No wonder I can't see the house. The fucking house ain't even over here. It's over here. Okay. That is how thick the trees are. I didn't even know where the house was at. The first two times I went, I didn't even know where the house was at. How are you going to kidnap a kid from a house you can't even fucking see? Okay, I know the house is somewhere there, right? I just don't know where. I don't know. I can't tell if the driveway goes this way. I thought the driveway went this way because I had been watching Ernie or something. It looked like Ernie walked up the driveway and went boom, and he was at the house. But it really, I don't know if he had his phone flipped, but really you walk up and go this way. So I'm looking over here for the fucking house, and their house ain't even there. So... Eventually, I figure out where the house is at, okay? And the weeds are dead. So, I take a picture of the house, right? This is a true story. This is a true story right here. You can't, this ain't no fake shit on the internet, right? This ain't for no, so, when I, I meet with them, we meet with them at a Wendy's, okay? That's where the pictures you see of me and Don and Candace is at this Wendy's. I'm sitting down with them and uh, Candace, right? Candace is looking at me like, she so wants to punch me in the face. Okay. Like she's just looking at me like she wants to attack me. But you know, Dolly slowly, you know, people warm up to me. They warm up to me. By the end of it, she was giving me hugs and, and like me, right? She probably hates me right now because I've been talking bad about her. Um, but you can see Candace mugging me. She was just mad, like just um, oh my god. JPL just donated five hundred dollars. What? JPL? What? Oh my damn! Oh, oh my lord! Oh my lord! I will make sure I go through when we hit this goal, and I'm going to make sure I thank everybody. Okay, that got us to CrimeCon 2024. Also, we're going to have T-shirts. It's going to have your names on the back. So if if you put your real name on the donation. And you want something else up there before we print up the t-shirts, I'll show y'all the logo and stuff. Make sure you let me know what name you want on the back. Cause if not, I'm going to put the names of the people that sponsored whatever's up there. Okay. But if you don't want like your name on the shirt and you want like your, like say you want your beautiful sunflower or Deb, you know what I'm saying? If you have a name, like whatever your YouTube persona is, I'll put that up there for you if you want. Okay. So it's going to say Dolly at Chromacon 2024, and it's going to have sponsored by on the back, and it's going to have your guys' names on the T-shirts, okay? And I'm probably going to do something similar to on one of the banners um, at CrimeCon, so your name will probably be shown at CrimeCon too. So thank you guys. Y'all are absolutely the very best, okay? So as soon as we lock everything in, well, of course, we'll let you guys know, and from my understanding, is I'm probably the worst on information without having it written down. I think it's May 31st through June 2nd. Nashville. Uh, I've, I'll, I'll start posting the locations and things that like that here soon. Also, I'll post, you know places that you could stay if you're traveling in because i know some of our viewers are already got tickets that y'all got tickets and we ain't got tickets yet okay because we're still raising them but hey i'm glad y'all can just get your tickets you know um but some people already got their tickets we'll let you know where we're going to do our meetings and things like that at our little get-togethers and of course we'll be at cromicon those three days but outside of that later that night because you know cromicon don't last all night We'll have a little get together 
and we'll give have more updates as we get closer to that because right now we don't even know who the guests are at CrimeCon. They don't release it to like 60 days out. So or 30 days out. Because they're still inviting people, getting, you know, the speakers and all that stuff. So we don't even know who's going to be there. We know this. Dolly's going to be there. And tell me that don't make Crime Con 2024 awesome as shit already. Okay? So you know I'm going to turn it up. We're going to turn it up. We're going to make sure everybody that walks through that place knows about Dolly Vision. Guarantee it. You won't leave Crime Con 2024 without knowing who Dolly Vision is. That I guarantee, okay? If I got to build a fucking eight-foot monster that looks like a uh, damn Jake Paul. You ever seen the box when he comes out with a big-ass robot? Don't mess with me. I have damn a costume built for PJ. I'm, play I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. But it's definitely going to be a good time. I hope to see some of y'all in Nashville. Oh, that is awesome. I was looking forward to hitting that because I really wanted to take part in this and, uh, I just wish I could reach out there and virtually hug every one of your faces, okay? I'm happy. Y'all made me feel warm in my heart today. Warm in the heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is going to be good times, okay? Like I said, we'll be the littlest channel there probably because, you know, just what it is. But we're going to spread the word. We're definitely going to spread the word. We're going to try to uh, spread some awareness, too, while we're there. It ain't just about promoting the channel. We are going to try to do some some good in the process and hug your faces, as many of them as we can, okay? So I haven't ended my hunt for Summer Wells. I haven't given up at all, okay? There's a lot of things going on. I've been a lot of places, but I still haven't given up on Summer Wells because, like I said, this is the little girl that then pretty much got me all into true crime. Well, I mean, I was into true crime, but I think she is like the rabbit hole that I fell into with Summer Wells is the one that I continue to path. Like, there's a lot of little Summer Wells out there, like Elijah Vu. He's missing right now. Poor little baby. You know what I'm saying? And there's some weird circumstances on that. There's Cody Bixby. He's missing. Nobody's found him. His dad goes to court in the fourth. I mean, there's just this stuff happens all the time. Now there now um JPL, I am going to meet Aunt Nancy. It will be <laughs> CPJ Stoke too, right? We're looking forward to meeting Aunt Nancy. Now, if Aunt Nancy ain't there, we want our money back. Okay, she better be there. We just, but anyway, you'll get Dolly, and you, there's gonna be a lot of cool people there. So if you, I'm looking forward to it, it's gonna be a blast. I wish it was sooner because we still got what is it? We got two months, over two months, three months. We got three months. I don't even know what damn month. I don't even know what day it is. I'm looking at the calendar over here, like what day is it? But I'm. That will come fast. And like I said, we'll be shooting my podcast live from there. So we will do some live podcasting. We'll be giving a bunch of samples away of the Dolly soaps and goodie bags and T-shirts and st stuff like that. We'll have some big banners made with the logos. Um, Nancy brings it and brings it hard. Okay. Yeah, what about you get Nancy and Dolly together? Okay. That's you getting executed then. That's she's my sister in execution. She's just like me when it comes to frying people. Oh, speaking of frying people, I Idaho. I'm a little disappointed in you, Idaho. Idaho. This is off Idaho tried to execute a dude today. Thomas, what was it? Uh, Cr uh Creech? Thomas Creech, I think was his name. Thomas Creech. They couldn't hit a vein. They could not hit a damn... They couldn't kill the man. Idaho. How the hell are you going to kill Brian Colberger? How the hell... And now the man... They don't even know what to do with the man. Okay? His, his execution, death warrant, expired today. Okay? They couldn't even kill him. They tried to kill him. They had the news there. Everybody's watching. 
They poking his ass with IVs. They can't kill a damn man. All right? Can't kill him. Why we got the death penalty if you can't even kill the person? Okay, right. You can't. Idaho. What the hell are y'all doing in Idaho? Now, I, I've been to Idaho. Really nice people in Idaho. Really nice. Y'all don't know how to kill people. Y'all want somebody dead to give me a job. I need money. Okay. Give me, if you need people, I take that. I will get, I promise you, I can do it. I can do it. Close the curtain. Give me five minutes. I promise you, when you open that curtain, that, that dude will, he be with Jesus. He be with little baby Jesus. They can't even kill the dude right. Can't even kill him. They were like, do you have a backup plan? Yeah, he lives. They don't, we're not seeking another death warrant for him. Like, so he don't die because y'all can't kill him? Send his ass to Alabama. I'm sure they can figure out how to get him dead in Alabama. Okay, they had no problem with the last dude. You know, technically they did. Alabama tried to kill the dude, and he didn't die. So they gas chambered his ass. Okay? That was the second option. You know, that don't work. Let's stone you to death. I don't care how you do it. I'm just saying, you don't stop. Okay, let's start your execution. But then we're going to say, oh, let's pause that. Let's hold up. He... He looked like his hand hurt. That said that shit. They were like, oh, they put an IV in him and it looked like his hand hurt. You're killing him. What the hell is it? What, what matters? Okay, you're taking this man off the planet. You worried about his, his fucking heat. They stopped. He had a cramp in his leg. He had a cramp in his leg. They stopped working the cramp. They massaging this man on the deathbed. Okay. Yeah. Who came up with this shit? Who, did, what world we live in where they can't execute people? We went over our goal. Thank you, guys. You are the best. Thank you, because everything down there is damn so expensive. So, so expensive. Thank you. You rock. You guys rock. They, whoever dropped that bag, thank you. I make sure, like, I want to give you a big virtual hug. If you're in that area, make sure you come out, right, so I can give you a real hug. As long as you don't grab none of my cheeks, right? You. That is awesome. So, like I said, Idaho today, they couldn't even execute the dude right. Apparently, so they go in there, and I guess the catheters, the needles were too big. So then they go get smaller needles. They go get smaller needles. They can't execute the man with smaller needles. Congrats, Dolly and PJ. Party! Hell yeah! <laughs> we're there. We are there for sure. So that locked us in today. Um, I just have to transfer those over the funds so I can buy the tickets. Okay. And we'll try to get that done this evening. I don't know how long it takes to hit the bank. So hopefully it don't take long. And we'll purchase the booth and the tickets. So I'm going to see you guys at CrimeCon 2024. It's going to be awesome. Good times. Good times are coming in Nashville. Like, I like Nashville. I kind of wish it was somewhere like last year was Florida. Florida would have been awesome. You know, I ain't been to Florida in a long time. Nashville, I've been a couple times. So, But I'm still looking forward. It's going to be fun. Let's go. That's right. Right. But let's go. Uh, um. So anyway, let me open up the phone lines because it does say live call-in show. And I want to hear what you guys think about the Summerwell stuff. Now, if you think Candace and Don don't have anything to do with it, and I'm just an idiot, call in and tell me. I don't get, you know, look, you don't have to agree with me here at this channel. This has never been an echo chamber, okay? I'm more of a, like, you have your own mind, your own opinion on things. Some things we're going to agree on and some things we ain't going to agree on. Some things we may change our minds on discussing things. Um, but you, you're always entitled to your, I'm never getting mad at you for believing something different than I believe. Okay. Cause I believe everybody's an individual and things that work for me may not work for you. The way I believe might not be the way you believe. And everybody has that right. You know, so I, I'm never mad at you anyway, you know, if I say they guilty, don't mean they guilty. Just my all this is my opinion of of the situation. I wasn't there when Summer Wells went missing. Okay. 
The only people that truly know what's going on is Don, Candace, Grandis, and Hunter. I truly believe that. I believe all those people know. I don't believe the boys or the kids even know what happened this summer. They kind of been blamed for it. Oh, you wasn't watching your sister. So they have that hurt, which is a terrible thing to put on a kid because, you know, they had to live with that the rest of their life. Oh, well, it was my fault. My sister's gone. Can you imagine that as a child, that being put on you? Well, they were supposed to be watching their sister. No, dude, you, their father, their mother was supposed to be watching Summer, not them kids. Candace is responsible for whatever's going on, not them boys, right? And then and it just shows you bad parenting. I ain't saying that's abusive, but you, you're you're mentally scarring these kids. Mentally scarring. I mean, if you really wanted your boys back, you would have fixed the house. Okay, it wouldn't be three years. You still ain't got the house fixed. That house will be fixed. It's more worried about drinking. I didn't know somebody, you know, because Don, he wasn't just, a, he was the boss of the drywall people. He ran the little crew and everything. So, you know, he made good money. Now, I don't know what they made in Tennessee, but I know damn drywalls around here make every bit over $20 an hour. Okay, so you figure this man's making a couple hundred dollars a day. He could afford to fix his shit and, you know, have his kids eating better than frozen pizza. But he didn't. And and like they would drink the money up. And then when he had any extra money, he would go do drugs with it. That man ain't going to change who look. He ain't going to change who he is at this point. Right, like anytime things get tough with Don Wells, he jumps straight to Jesus. All right. Well, in in the scripture says, you know, right then that means he don't want to answer a question. To me, it's a tell. Like when stuff gets hard for Don, uh, well, you know, Jesus said on the cross, said on the cross, and I'm like, I don't care about that shit. Right. And what I want to know is where your daughter's at. Like, why do you not? seem so concerned like why are you saying that they'll never find her that just don't make good sense to me give me a second let me open up the phone lines all right let me share this so y'all can hear the audio Dolly. Hey, Doug from Tennessee. Hey, Doug, what's going on? You left out one name. What name did I leave out? Robin. Oh, Robin, the church lady? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I just think, I she's, that, I, I think she's just an innocent church lady. I, I believe I believe she's a, she got that little, they got that little girl stored at a compound somewhere. Uh, but why? Like Dave, like a David Koresh. You think they done David Koresh her up? I I checked into it, and she was eight year old, and was in David Koresh's compound. Okay. Robin was one of David Koresh's little girls. No, she wasn't. Yes, she was. Hey, right, what 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 leads to that to that, Doug? It was uh, I, I got into David Koresh. I started checking into it. Yeah, but I mean, I followed the Waco since I was a kid. I remember watching it live, sitting on the couch with my mother. Well, she was eight old. And, she, and uh, she's one of the kids that got out in the beginning? Yeah. yeah. But she's eight year old. If you add up her age, it's the same age as she is now. And and I believe that little girl's at a compound. You believe that Summer Wells is at a compound? What, ran by the, the seven day, what is it, Avocus? Adventist? What what is the name of the church? Seven Day Adventist, and it's run by David, David, the David fella. You got to look at him too. Uh oh, the David. What? Okay, you lost me somewhere. So, so Robin came. You're saying Robin came from a damn Waco, Texas church, right? And, and that David, the David, the preacher guy, he looks just like David Crash. I haven't seen the preacher at that church. No, it's her boyfriend. 
who that Robin's boyfriend? Yeah, that, uh, what was his name? David. Uh, Is it the uh, David Dobbs dude? Da David Dotson. Dotson, Dobbs, whatever. Uh, David Dotson. I don't know. I'd have to dig into that to see. If she, I don't think she was at Waco. I believe she eight year old at Waco. What what ties her to Waco though? What do you know that ties her to Waco? Uh, well, I went through where Jr. was investigating this stuff at. Uh huh. And Jr. at Waco. Jr. He investigated and found it too. And found that she was at Waco. Yes, she was eight year old at Waco. Okay. All right. I had to. Check. I'm gonna have to I believe, dig in that. Are you on my I Facebook? Are you on my Facebook? Uh, no. Okay. You send me. You know. You send. You know how to send emails and shit, right? I don't have no email. I'm. Oh. I'm a dumb redneck. Guy. Okay. I'm lucky to dial on the phone. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. Okay. Because I but, just want to uh, see the sources of that that she was at Waco. Yeah. Uh, let me know when you're at Crime Con. I won't be able to afford. I won't be able to afford to go in it. But I don't live far from Nashville, and I would come and visit. Okay, Doug, that's cool. Then you'll get a chance to meet Dolly because, like I said, I'm going to do something outside of that because I know it's expensive. So, yeah, you'll get a chance. To, uh, we'll get a chance to hang out, Doug. It'll be good to meet you. Hey, I'll, I'll buy you dinner. Hey, you ain't got to do all that. But uh, it'll be yeah, good. Yeah, I'll buy you a steak dinner, man. I do like steak. Okay. Yeah, hey, I'll buy you a steak dinner. I'll take you and her out. And me and my wife and yeah. you and her, we'll go out and have a steak dinner. Okay. Well, we'll make that happen. Well, definitely. Uh, you, 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 be can't miss me, baby. you can't miss me. I'm six foot three and 300 pounds. I, that's hard to miss. <laughs> See uh, you, Dolly. All right. Peace. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to be at Crime Con. Now, I don't know about that Waco, Texas stuff, Doug. <laughs> I just don't know. Now, is it possible? Uh, Yeah, I mean, it's possible. But Waco wasn't known for stealing kids. Okay. David Crash wasn't known for kidding. He was a little weird and he was having sex with everybody's wives. Okay. Thought he was Jesus there for a minute. But then again, you know, he'd been shot. You know, the crazy thing is this, that the sniper that shot David Koresh, he also shot the dude at Ruby Ridge. And the bad thing is he missed both. Can somebody fire that dude? He's supposed to have like 120 confirmed kills, this sniper. And two of the biggest cases were people that are anti-government, right? They use these two examples, and it's that same sniper. He shot David Koresh in the stomach, okay? And then he shot the dude at Ruby Ridge. He missed the dude at Ruby Ridge, shot his wife in the head while she was holding her newborn baby. Thinking, damn, dude, you need a new sniper, okay? I mean, that's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. And if you watched any of these things played out, any of it, and I watched it as a kid, and I understood it. Even as a kid, I understood. The government, you can't fight the government. You can't win. Okay? Our government, when it comes down to it, they will mow you down. They'll mow you down. Quick. And they will use whatever means necessary to do it. And say it. Dolly. Yes. Hello. This is Linda. Hey, Linda. I'm calling from Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville. How you doing? Yes. Not too far from where Summer went missing. Yeah, I see that. What I you was wondering. Uh, you said you didn't much know if the boys knew anything, but don't you think they would know if she came back with her mama and grandest that evening? Not if they were in the house playing video games. You ever seen little boys sit on a video game on a PlayStation or a computer or something like that? Well, I, they would know if she came into the house because they was one that, uh, younger go, younger fella. I don't think she ever came into the house. That's what I know. But they would know if she'd come back on that property that day. I yeah. mean, they would seen her running around because well, look how many hours she was supposed to went missing. Well, according to them, they said that she went in the house, and then when Candace went in to look, the boys told her that Summer went down into the basement. Uh-huh. Right? And then she says she goes down in the basement. Summer's not down there. Uh, yeah. And, you know, the back door. I, I just don't buy it. 
Like we, I don't buy that either. We won't know from the boys until they're eighteen and they're able to speak. Oh, well, Lord, I mean, the oldest one, I think he was the one that was with Don there that uh, when the interview first went on. I think that was the middle boy. The oldest one was sort of slimmer than him and uh -huh. had the blonde hair. Where this one had sort of a sandy blonde hair. Yeah. And then you've got the small one then. I forgot how old he was. I think but, the oldest uh, one now is what, 14? Seemed like he is. I mean, but that one that was with Don when he'd done that good old interview that he'd done was the small one. Yeah. I've seen pictures of them. Yeah. But, and I was wondering if they come in, if Don was up there, and if they was in the house, if Don picked her up and took her away, the boys would have seen that. Yeah, yeah. Well, if the boys are upstairs, you can't really see what's going on downstairs. Yeah. You know, and that, that's I, the, I mean, exits. I've there's seen a, it. There's an exit. I've seen it. I uh, heard it. I can remember watching the video, but I can't remember which one it was. But it, they were saying on there that what uh, that probably the kids was asking uh, Donna, now where are you taking summer? I cannot remember the video that it was on, but I remember one it, that the, the kids knows exactly what has happened. I mean, if I was in my home and somebody come in, my mom and my dad picked up my daughter, sister, that she looked like and put and carried her out and put her in the car, and I was wondering where they's going to take her. But Granda said that the, uh, uh, Candace come, run, came to the trailer and said that uh, that Summer was sick and her, she was going to meet Dawn and take her to the emergency room. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a rumor that I heard on the Internet. Yeah. You know, so that, that's there's like I said, we don't yeah. know if there's any truth to that or if that's somebody that's done something out here for click. So there's so much misinformation. Yeah. You know, but from her story, Candace was planting flowers and sent her into the house and her and Grandis were out there and this person came up the dog path. My whole thing is this. I've been there. If you come up the dog path from the trailer, yeah. you can see the dog path. Yeah. And you could have seen, I mean, uh, if they're sitting on the, where the trailer is sitting and coming up that dog path, somebody, I mean, I don't believe all them dogs went and gone that day. I believe them dogs would have been a barking. I mean, it's all speculation. Every, we all speculate. Mm -hmm. And we all want, you know, because I want uh, Hawkins County to step up on their investigation on this because this has gone too far and that little uh, monkey out there that's gone missing. Look, we've got a lot of babies out there that shouldn't even be missing. Yeah, I think there there needs to be a little pressure on the Hawkins County. I think there needs the memorial this year needs to be at the jail like it was when me and Bullhorn Betty did it. That mm -hmm. way the police know, hey, we want some fucking answers. And they ain't telling us nothing. At least when we were there, they were talking to us, giving us little updates and things of that. But now they haven't said nothing. They shut down. I don't want to see Summer Wells' case go cold. No, and I'm afraid if, uh, if I don't find anything pretty soon about that little Elijah, I'm afraid it's going to go cold, too. Yeah, I think they're going to charge the parents, the mom, and the, the Jesse Vane guy in that situation. And I heard on there this morning about he had, in that affidavit that was brought out that he said that he walked his 15-year-old son to the bus, autistic son to the bus, yeah. and he come back and little Elijah was still asleep. He woke him up and took him into the kitchen and gave him dry cereal to eat. Uh -huh. And then they went into his bedroom. Well, it, they locked the front door. He'd done the chain lock. He'd done the dead boat. And he'd done the knob the mop and they locked it and after he ate went into his bedroom and he locked his door from the inside how would that child got out he couldn't have right it's all lies he he knows that the yeah. child, that child i don't think went missing that day i think the child went missing the day before that like mm -hmm. it seems like 
all these people, even in the Audrey Cunningham thing, I believe that whatever he did, he did the day before and he disposed of her body that following morning. He was going to kill the yeah. mama in that one too. So, yes. Hey, but look, hey, I appreciate you calling in. Thank you, honey. You have a great evening. You too. You be good. Bye-bye. All right. Peace. All right, so, you know, I don't know. I just know the way that they're saying this happened with Summer Wells didn't transpire. Now, the hitting her head on a, a rock thing and, you know, the milk crate, the pictures of the, the milk. A lot of people believe she was asleep. She was asleep on the milk. Now, you know, we see the video of her raising her arm or, or, or Candace and them. Like, is she still got her arm up? Okay. Candace said because it was, she was sleeping well. I don't know. She could have been injured. Dolly. Hey, Dolly. Hey, Granny. Hey, you doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Not too bad. I'm I'm glad y'all are going to get Joe to go to Crime Con. I am so glad, too. I'm happy. I'm so happy. I just saw on here by Candy Pringham that the Robin's last name is, is Lane. Uh -huh. And she was in David Koresh's cult. Say what? She was one of the... Yeah, she was one of the children he let go out. No, that's no. just weird. Now it's it's making me do yeah, a but, whole different look on this. But here's the thing: the 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 Koresh compound wasn't known for kidnapping kids. No, he he, he was seven day advance. It was a non dom. I can't even talk denominational. Uh, Letter Day Saints. He believed in, you know, having several, several wives. Yeah. Polygamy. Yeah. And, uh, and then again, I watched a show on TV called Escaping Polygamy. Yeah. You don't suppose they really sold her. Was it the man trying to escape? Because how could you have that many wives without jumping off a bridge? Well, they just do. The wives <laughs> no, do the work. And I don't know how a man can marry three different wives. That's three different I, women bitching at you all the time. I agree. You know, I mean, it's hard to live. Papa says I get on his nerves, you know, <laughs> so. But I just tell him what he needs to do. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm I'm getting a different feeling now. You, you don't really suppose she, that they sold her to someone to be someone's wife because they take them at a very early age. Yeah. It's, um, just, it's weird. I mean, I ain't saying it's impossible. I mean, anything's possible. I think in probably, you know, the likelihood of it. I mean, I don't know. I don't think maybe if they knew that, that she was going to get taken, the church was like, okay, well let's let her, let's adopt her out. Let's, but then you would somebody would see her. There's really been no reported sightings of Summer Wells other than YouTube idiots that say some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? For clicks and views. I, I agree. And this Ernie Shell, is he a mercenary? <laughs> yeah, he's he has a brain chip that Eon must put in his head. Sometimes it's malfunctions though. He he talks like he goes into these tunnels and saves a bunch of children. I don't know what to think of him. Listen, I think Ernie is harmless. He has some mental health issues, Granny. Oh, okay. Just, just know he has some. He has some mental health issues. He's a, he's a decent person, good guy. He, um, he's, he has some mental health issues. I like Ernie, so I'm not gonna say nothing bad about him. So he's not, he's not really saving. He's cuckoo children. for fucking cocoa puffs. Granny, okay, uh, he's crazy, okay. he's batshit crazy, okay? He's harmless, good. but harmless. But he's, not a he's damn he's sure he's not a mercenary. Mab said he's a super soldier, he's definitely not a mercenary, okay? Well, I was just asking, uh, um, I feel like her body then is somewhere on the hill, it's gotta be. And how they have kept it so quiet for so long, you know, it's gotta be eating them up. 
It does. I mean, I've sat around behind the scenes uh, with PJ and we've talked to Candace and listened to her cry and talk about her sorrows and shit we never shared because we don't always record you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's always not all yeah. about a click or view. Sometimes we just want to hear you talk and what you say. Um, and plus, you know, if you're recording everybody, how much trust are they going to have to tell you anything if you're constantly recording every minute of your conversations? Yeah, I understand. Like, these, she I had said some a, things that made me think they had something to do with it. Yeah. Well, they probably did, and I'm just, I'm so hurt. But I had to take a step back and, and get off YouTube for a little while. That um, Harmony Montgomery uh -huh. and... Uh, Audrey really did a number on my mind. It was back to back, and I thought, good God. So I had to take a little break. About drove me crazy for a few days. Well, yeah, it you need it every now and then. Like I said, true crime, I encourage people to watch other things other than just true crime because true crime is just so doom and gloomy. You know, it is. Try to break it up with some entertainment. Throw some comedy in there somewhere. And, you know, so everything you are not putting into your body is just death and gloom, you know? Yeah. Well, I, I wanted to ask you that about uh, Ernie Shell too. Uh, the way I understood it, he was some kind of law enforcement that goes in and, and undercover and gets these kids. In his mind, uh, Granny, he is. In his mind, he is everything he says he is. Okay? In reality, he's none of those things. Okay, he's a dude that does YouTube, and he, he, he does look for missing kids, allegedly. Ernie will show okay. up. He's been out to the hill and things. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes Ernie, you, here's the thing about mental health. Sometimes you're good, and then sometimes you ain't good. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah. Ernie has spurts of where he's okay, and then he has spurts of where he's walking in traffic. You know? Oh, my God. So... Well, I, I had to ask because, like, you know, I've been listening to him a couple of times, and he makes it sound like he is in some type of law enforcement. He, he is definitely not. Yeah, he's warned by the police. Okay, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's definitely, oh in, God. definitely in law enforcement. Look, Granny, he he's harmless, and you know, he's just a little. He's a little off in his head sometimes. But when he ain't, he's a good guy. I don't think. I think he's harmless, and he means well. He's just cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Bless his heart. All right. I'm going to let you go. You watch Top Notch. All right, Granny. Y'all have fun at Crime Con. We will. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Later. Bye. Okay. So, yeah, like, the man harmless, but, uh, you know, he's definitely not no super soldier or anything like that. Uh, I just hope he keeps his mental health well. You know, that's important in this world. And if he for entertainment, entertainment, but he's definitely not going to save the world. Dolly. Hey, Dolly. Hey. It's Rhonda from Tennessee. How are you? Hey, Rhonda. I'm doing pretty good. Virgo. Hey, listen. Think about this. In the video where they were at Warriors Pass. Yeah. It looks to me like Summer has hair. <laughs> what, at Warriors Pass? Okay. Uh-huh. Yes. But on the videos of the milk jugs, she has no hair. Oh, you're saying but it, yeah, the video it's spliced. Huh? You think the video is spliced? It was taken at two different times. Yes, because watch the video again. She has hair when Hunter's going in the water. Mm hmm She has hair. Yeah. I had to look. It's been a minute yeah. since I No, I, I picked that up the other night and I was like, damn. Did they shave her head at Warriors? Well, you know, a lot of people were into the, you know, the dry drowning or she drowned at Warriors Path. Um, what if she hit her head? Well, did you know she cut the video when Hunter went in the water? She quit taping after that. Yeah. You know, when he turned around and gave her the sign of whatever it was. Yeah, when he was gang signing. Yeah. He, she quit She quit video and after that. He wasn't even to summer yet. Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, I have different feelings about what do you think Candace's intent was having that boy with her? Sex. 
Okay, well, you're on the same page as me, too, then. Okay, because, yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's had sex with that boy before that day. That's what, from my understanding, that's the thing. He lost his V to that lady. And uh, for, according to Jose, you know, according to Jose. So if she would. You know, that guy knew a lot. I really believed everything he, you know, he knew too much. Well, he played himself up like a hero a little bit, but I believe what he was telling was the truth that he went out there and cut the grass, that the kids were eating right. frozen pizzas. Dom was taking right. showers with Summer. Candace was sleeping with Hunter, you know. Right. And resting. And what did they take to their grave? You know, her, yeah. him, and Allie both. What did they take to their grave? Yeah. Rest in peace to him and Allie. That's what I'm going to say. He died in a homeless encampment in California. Right. And, you know, Allie lost her life just here recently to what was it lack of oxygen. pneumonia yeah pneumonia, yeah so uh yeah right i just i want you to check that video and just watch it and see if i'm crazy i definitely will check but, it out now that you said something yeah else. summer had hair there and she don't have hair on the jokes yeah a lot of people think that them videos were shot at different times i've heard that theory of you know this video ain't from that day that they've that's the day she uploaded it. So it's time stamp right. a different time. So right. I mean, when you get into those time stamps and when people upload videos, it's like, you know, I've been posting uh, videos from when I was in New Hampshire. I'm not in New Hampshire. So, I know. and it would, oh, yeah. this video was posted today. You would think I'm in New Hampshire, but I'm not. I'm sitting in Virginia just posting a video from a different time I shot it. Right. But if if but I anyway, oh, well, go, well, he shot this video today. No, I didn't. I shot it right. days ago, you know. Okay, think of this. Okay, Candace left the hill twice. Mm -hmm. Who's to say that that little girl didn't die? It could have been an accident, but the bitch should have called the law. But anyway, she meets Don, hands that baby off. Now, I've thought of this a lot. I think is that maybe in concrete somewhere at that subdivision he was working? Is it is it footer in that why he says he'll never find her? And I mean, we know that the, you know, according to some people, that uh, Rose Bly is buried underneath a driveway. And they, right, and, they and I really I've way. thought of that from the very beginning when they showed him at that construction site when Warren Betty and it was our screaming and all that. Yeah, and, I mean, I thought look, is that little girl in concrete? It wouldn't be hard to do because you know I've worked in construction. I've go to houses when they're, right. when they're pouring they're pouring the footers, uh, right? Depending on what type. And the of concrete car. guy can't see back there. Well, if you bury it underneath of where they're going to pour the concrete, they pour concrete right over top of it because what they'll do right. is they'll dig it out and then they put this metal uh, rebar in it. Yeah, rebar. Okay, yeah. so if you go up under the rebar. They're just pouring concrete. When they get out there, they just start pouring it. They don't going to dig it up to look what's underneath it because it's already been dug. Right. So, right. Just, I just think that that could have happened. That's what happened. He probably says you'll never find her. That's what happened to Jimmy Hoffa. He's in a wall somewhere, you know. Right. They yeah. ain't never found him, but I guarantee you when they tear down the building, they're going to find some bones. <laughs> Remember they said he was right. down at Yankee Stadium and all kind of stuff. But they oh know, yeah, yeah. They know that he was. He's in a wall somewhere. They just don't know where. Right. But I just wanted you to watch that video over we and just tell me if I'm crazy or not. Okay. I will for sure do that. Thanks, Dolly. All right. You have a good one. You too. Bye. Okay. Is she in, is she in a wall somewhere? Is she the Don Wells? I do believe that, you know, she did leave. Is it possible that she went and met up with Don Wells? But if Hunter is right, she didn't really have to leave to meet with Don Wells. Don Wells was already there. Now, we do see this. When it all first starts happening, Don says the boys are down by the shed. So he don't pull up down Ben Hill Road. He goes down Beach Creek to the shed and goes to the shed first. My thought was this. Like, why did they instantly go to that shed first? And that's the shed that I got the Summer Wells banner on. The boys were down there. Don pulled up down there. Hold on, caller. Let me address this point real quick, and I'll answer your call in just a second. Why did they go there? So I asked Don, I was like, had Summer ever wandered over to the garage or anything? You know, this is one of the questions I asked him. He was like, well, she would go over here, and, you know, there's a little... Because when you're at the top of the hill, you can go down, like, and around and get to that garage, okay, that's down there on Beach Creek. And he's just like, she would play around in here, you know, she'd play all around, but 
and he like not really. It, well, not really. Then why did everybody go there first? That was my question. Like, why did all these people go to this location? Dolly. Hey, Dolly. It's Sunshine the Shadows. Hey, Sunshine. What's going on? I I got all these different theories just running through my head today. <laughs> okay, let's hear them. Well, first, I, as soon as everybody kept saying the whole Waco connection, I got to digging. I can't find any proof that Robin had anything to do with Waco. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I think if she was eight, then wouldn't she be a little bit older? I don't, I don't know. I, I left that alone a little bit. But I know there was a Robin Buns in Waco, but that's not her. Yeah. And I mean, there I was a clear. bunch of kids released, and they I can't even find their names. But like you said, he wasn't really into stealing kids. Yeah, he was into modifying weapons. That's what led the feds there. He was turning uh, semi-automatic weapons into fully automatic weapons because they believed the end days were coming and they wouldn't be prepared for that. But that's against federal law, and that's why the police rolled up on them and what happened happened. They I mean, the closest they say thing... This, you know, the conspiracy is they say that the Branch Davidians set that building on fire, and they didn't. They ran that tank right through a fucking gas line, crushed the right? building, and killed the fucking kids. They were trapped. Yeah. They couldn't even get out the building, and that gas line is what set that building on fire. That building went up in third fucking, within three minutes, that building was engulfed, and the whole building engulfed in flames. It's the most, the most horrible thing I ever watched as a kid. I remember the day it happened. I was sitting there with my mom as a little kid. My mama looked at me and said, and this is when CNN and whatever it was started broadcasting news 24 hours because they had the Branch Davidian compound for 24 hours a day on TV. And uh, my mom looks at me and she said, them people are going to start running out the building any second. And then nobody ran out the building. And in, in a matter of minutes, that whole building was engulfed. And you could have just seen the look on my mom's face of like, I can't believe it. We just watched all these people die. Like that mm -hmm. was live. That was like the first really live event on TV that I can remember was the Branch Davidians dying in that building. See, I can't remember it firsthand because I was just a baby. <laughs> I remember it. I remember but, it. I can remember all the way back to that time. Man. But anyways, what I was going to say is, you know, if she did have something, you know, maybe she did grow up there or whatever. Uh, she, I'm thinking, you know, he had a savior complex and maybe she saw what was going on with Don and Candace and maybe she knew something was up and had a savior complex and maybe took her to get her away from that. I don't know. She looked like a nice lady. Like I was at the warrior's path and she was down there. I didn't speak mm -hmm. to her, but I seen her and she was out there happy and smiling. She looked like a normal old, she didn't look like a baby napper. I'm just saying she, she looked. Well, people that kids because of a savior complex, though, so they're not bad people. They're literally trying to save them. Yeah, but what, if you was a baby napper, wouldn't she be out na baby napping other kids right now? Not if she just did it to save Summer because she was her Sunday school teacher, so she would have had a bond with her. Yeah, yeah, they did say because she was nice. If you seen the lady, she she carries herself real pleasant. She's you know she's mm -hmm. got a big smile on her face. And even when I was at the lake, I could see why Summer would be attracted to her because she looks happy. She looks like mm -hmm. good spirits. She has a big right. wears a big smile on her face all the time. And you know. Uh, allegedly CPS was called out to that house several times and yet Summer was still there. Mm -hmm. Allegedly there was a time where Candace was so high she had left drugs on the table or something and Summer had gotten a hold of them and was high out of her mind at three years old. Um, of course this is all allegedly, no yeah. proof. Yeah. You know, if all this is going on if someone were to take her to save her, what if they did it because the system wasn't doing anything? I mean, that is possible. But you would think at this point that somebody would spot Summer. How do you get birth certificates? How do you get her into school? Like, 
she's just going to go live with like, I mean, homeschooler, I guess, but how would, you know, Summer would know her name. You at five years old, you could convince a child of any story. I mean, I mean you could tell her could. bad people are after you and you got to change your name. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess you could. I've heard stories like that where dudes have done that, you know, convince people that if you tell their family's going to die and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. There's actually a girl that uh, I went to school with. I was in elementary school with her. And later on, about two or three years ago, I, I re uh, met up with her again. And um, her little brother was taken at two years old uh -huh. and told that he was yeah. almost three he was like three days shy of his third birthday and he was convinced that bad people were after his family and yeah, i can't remember when i was three i can yeah. remember i can remember all the way down to like first grade mm -hmm. kindergarten at age but i can't remember nothing before that Bef your your memory really doesn't fully form until somewhere between three and five yeah, that's why I'm saying I can remember kindergarten. I can remember going to school. I can first remember first now, grade. Man. I can remember all right. the years, but I can't remember nothing before five years old. I mean, if Summer's eight now and she was took at five, chances are she may not even remember her family. Yeah. I she mean, might be some pieces of somebody. I think she but, Hold on. Give me one second. Hold on. Uh -huh. <sighs> okay, I'm back with you. All right, darling. But yeah, again, that's that's my best case scenario is that, you know, maybe maybe somebody just took her to get her away from it, but Unfortunately, I've also been entertaining the idea that it might be another Harmony case. That he, somebody beat her to death? Now, I didn't hear a bunch of horrible stories about Don beating, not, on, not, beating on. Not that. What he did after he beat her to death. Like, oh. I'm afraid it was an accident because there's a lot of stories of her going swimming with Hunter or something. And, you know, what if something had happened by accident and they freaked out and did something like what Adam did to Harmony because that would explain that they'll never find her comment. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do believe they did something with her. Um, a lot of people think that she may have been burned. Oh my God. You know, in, in this couch that's missing, I was going to get on to that in a little bit, may have something to do with that. Now, of course, if you burn something that small and you know there's you know in the country when you how do you get rid of your trash you burn everything Stephen right. Avery Stephen Avery how did he try to get rid of the body he tried to burn it and they found like teeth and things like that but if he was to burn something then clean it up you would never find it all you well, need is a fire burning hot enough in a little pit and you could burn a person like gone like, he used tires and things to keep the fire stoked. But there's other ways to stoke a fire that you don't have to put off all that black smoke. Well, and I I didn't even know about the missing couch, but there there's a missing couch. So wh what if there was, what if something happened and there was like blood or something on the couch and that's why they got rid of it? I mean, I don't know why. Here's the thing is when I was in the basement with Don Wells in there, I just, I wasn't even thinking. I was just generally talking and I was like, wasn't there a couch that blocked that door? And he was like, nah, I don't know. He had like he didn't know what I was talking about. Yeah. Why, clearly, why would you all get rid of stuff that was part of a house that was involved in a criminal investigation? I mean, I don't know. There, 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 there started to be a few things that went missing from the property. Is that just them cleaning up and trying to get things organized? Or is that them getting rid of evidence? That's where it gets a little tricky. You know what I'm saying? Because it might just be them cleaning up. But then again, it could be them covering up. I mean, was the crime scene, like, was the home cleared out of the investigation before they did that? When 
I believe when Chris McDonough went in there, there was still a couch there. All the okay. stuff was in the house. When I went into the house, there was nothing in the basement. Nothing. Empty. The only thing that was in the basement was a machine that's made to lift drywall. So you don't have to hold it while you drill it. It's like this little thing you put the drywall on and you spin it and it jacks it up. So you can drill it up while, it, you know, so you don't got to hold it. There was one of those in the basement. But as far as anything else in that whole basement was empty. There was nothing. No stairs. No, just two empty rooms. Cinder block rooms. Definitely so. <laughs> yeah, so they got rid of everything that was down there. Every single thing that was in that basement was gone. The only thing they really had in their house was when you went in, it was like they had a bed and a bunk bed. They had like a little table they set at, TV, and like a gun rack with some BB guns on it. They didn't have no real guns. They just had BB guns. When See, when I was thinking like, you know, he was like, you want to shoot BB guns? I was thinking, I'm going to go, hey, man, you want to shoot some real guns? You know what I'm saying? But I just went along with him and shot the BB guns. You know, I you get walked up there and let to somebody I think is a murderer unarmed. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but I just went along with it was like, yeah, you know, try to kill me or something, you know. I don't know this man like that. But, hey, look, I appreciate you calling. All righty, Dolly. All Good right. talking to you. All right, peace. All right, bye bye. And I did learn something from Don Wells, okay? Y'all want Don Wells class? Hold on, I can't. Come on. Dolly. Hey, Dolly. Hey. Candy Prune from Tennessee again. Hey, Candy. Hey. Um, talking about that Robin Lane uh, thing, uh -huh. J JRL has a, a video about it. Uh -huh. And I would assume that he had did some investigating before he posted that video. I mean, you would think. Uh, he seems like a legit guy to me. JR? Yeah, I Googled it. When somebody had said that up there, that man called in and said that, I Googled it straight away. And up pops uh, two or three of his videos, and I clicked on one, and he's talking about it. Sure enough, that she was a member of that occult and escaped. I think uh, I watched my very first JRLR full video. I think it was the day before yesterday. I'd never watched one of his whole videos. Like I watched the whole video and he was at, right. a, and the only reason I watched this because I've been like, I watch documentaries on this place all the time. He was at slab city. And, uh, so I watched it, but I mean, credible source of information. Like, I mean, he does do some, I don't know. I don't think the lady was at fucking a branch to I just don't, I think that's some, I'd have to see it. I had to go watch that JLR video. Yeah, go watch it. it. It's very informative. I mean, it's interesting. Um, he doesn't focus just on that. If the video is about something else, but he brings it up, and that's the header of the video is Robin Lane, uh, is a survivor of the Branch Davidian. Yeah, I don't. I think that's some clickbait. I think they, it may be something similar that like it could be because JR is quick to be. It could be one of those. You know. So I don't know. I had to watch. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. He, I don't he could be right. He, he could be right. He could, she could be damn uh, one of David Crush's kids, for I know. But that don't explain the kidnapping. Like the brain. No, I know. They were. They wasn't damn. If anything, they were separatists. They wasn't like uh, I kidnappers. I don't think she was sold uh, <clears throat> or any of that. I think she was unlawed by her parents, and that's just my opinion. Like I told you yesterday. I believe she's down with those deep water wells on the property. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. Anything at this point is possible. Um, but the way they talk, she'll never be found. And any parent that would say that about their missing kid, they either know something or that's right. how they're coping. And I don't think that's how they're coping. Well, I what think kind of father says she's sleeping with the fishes or she's fish food? I believe that's what he said. I never heard him say she was fish food. Oh yeah, there's a video. I don't. I think Cher played it. I'm not sure uh, where uh, he is saying that that she's fish food. Nobody's gonna ever find her. I mean, what the hell kind of parent says that? Well, I mean, even if she's even does this say she's in the water? Eventually, you never know. Her, her bone could wash up to say somebody's never gonna find her. I think Don Wells hopes that. Mm -hmm. 
But there's, been, so, there's been kids that have been missing for 30 years and be found. I mean, you know, they're oh, yeah. but what happens in the dark always comes to light. He's no exception to that rule. That rule is a universal right. rule that we don't control that rule. He don't control that. I rule. believe 2024 is going to be Michael Vaughn's year and summers. Man, you know, that would be, the, it would be the best year for me ever. I would just be so happy if we could wrap these two up. I do believe we're going to get some, we won't get answers this year from Michael Vaughn, but we will see the arrest come this year. Did you see the rumor going around about you, Dolly? You were in a relationship with Le- Leilani. That I was in a relationship with Leilani? I uh-huh, that's the rumor on the street. Yeah, I that's, cracked up. That's my boo boo there. That's, that's, that's my boo. I, thought, I bet PJ really appreciated that. I'm Mormon. I'm Mormon. Okay. PJ just walked in too. So look, I'm gonna get ready to get out of here. You guys right. be good. I will be back later tonight. Peace for all in the show. You be good. All right. Peace out. All right, peace. So guys, anyway, like I said, PJ just showed up. So I'm gonna get ready to get off of here. I will be back, of course, at like nine o'clock tonight. Call in show. We'll continue to talk a little more on Summer Wells, and there's some other things I want to talk about tonight. So make sure you tune in for that if you haven't. Give this video a like. Leave a comment afterwards if you're still here. Thank you so much for everybody that has donated and made it possible for us to go to CrimeCon 2024 this year. It's going to be awesome. Um, I can't wait to meet some of you. I can't wait to bring you awesome videos and some interviews from there. So we're going to have a good time. I told you this was the year of the Turtles. Not Turtle Riders, but the Turtle Gang, baby. The most awesome gang on YouTube. I'll see y'all guys tonight. Be good. Stay safe until then. Dolly out. Peace.